Hey guys, it's Rob from OuyaBoards.com and GameFans.com. I've got the new Ouya all loaded up and just want to take you um, in a quick tour of the software. Uh, it's a pretty... Oops, I've got to... Got to connect to my Bluetooth controller. There we go, we're connected. I want to take you a quick tour through the software. You can see there's just four pretty simple options. Um, play is where all the apps that you've downloaded are um, are going to appear. And you can see I've already tested out a ton of different games here. Um, and so if you go to install a bunch of app or a bunch of games at the same time, and uh, it, they'll install or they'll download in the background, then you come here and you can see you just install them from here. Um, so this kind of is a nice magazine look at all the games that you have available with a nice a nice cover for them and pretty simple so that's where you go to play discovers pretty much the store but everything's free so they've got the featured area and final fantasy 3 is kind of the lead game they've been talking about since the beginning as a big draw for everybody and they've got a handful of uh games that are uh, that are featured. You can see the just eight here. So these are ones that pretty much they're recommending you check out. I've tested a bunch of these. Puddle's cool. Um, Stalag Flight's pretty awesome. Um, Cannibal, uh, I suck at it, so I didn't like it. Uh, then we've got Go Retro section. And these are kind of the old school games. Um, Oregon Trails, like Oregon Trail, Orbiter and Radiant are space shooters, and Gunslug is like a uh, horizontal scrolling shooter. Then you've got Hear Me. These are pretty, I guess, audio intensive. Um, pretty interesting. I'm guessing they're going to change what these are here. Go Retro, Hear Me. Who knows? You know, during at some point they might make sports a featured type of category up here. Then you've got genres where they do break it up by category. It's interesting how they chose to split things up. You've got arcade and pinball in the same one. So, you know, you've got space shooters in here with things like pinball arcade um, and beast boxing turbo. And I think the developers actually choose what categories they're in, which is weird because a lot of them are in multiple categories. So, for example, beast boxing turbo is in arcade and pinball and it's also in fight and then it's in another one too like this guy here a bit of a fist of awesome is in a bunch of different categories some of them seem to overlap and some of them just seem miscategorized like you've got a fight and you've got hack and slash I mean those are gonna overlap obviously uh, so I think some probably ironing out needs to be done of these but they are uh, it is nice to have them categorized by kind of genre. Uh, and there is overlap here. So, you know, ones in feature it up here in genres as well. This is something really interesting is the sandbox. If you're a developer, you launch your game, you don't immediately get to go into the list of genres or, you know, obviously the best ones go up in these top categories. But you go into the sandbox. It's just numbered category. And... You know, you're hoping that people are going to give you enough good ratings and downloads that you get launched up into that upper echelon of games. So, for example, say, uh, you know, there's the developer of Multispace. Here right now he's just in this uh, sandbox area. So you can plus one, I guess, thumbs up, whatever you want to call it, uh, people's games. So, and then I can uh, un-thumbs it up. Uh, so this is a way for people to know or for them to rank, you know, which games are doing well, which are trending and kind of take people out of this sandbox area. It, I think it may be good that they have a sandbox because I've seen some pretty terrible games that aren't on here yet. But, uh, you know, because anybody can upload a game to the Ouya store. So it is nice that they kind of make try and make sure that there's some of the best games are the ones that are being shared and seen. Uh, so that's kind of the way that you'll download the games. And for example, let's just look at a uh, one of the more popular games. So you've got screenshots over here. And I wish there was a way to enlarge the screenshots, but there's not. You can't press A to select or uh, even though it says uh, press O to select. And 
You can go back, but you can't enlarge these screenshots, which is pretty annoying. I can't, also can't figure out, oh, there we go, scrolled the top up there, but that's not, uh, the dis scrolling description isn't exactly as smooth and obvious as you may want. You can play the game directly from here, and if it's downloading, it'll show you the downloading status. Uh, why don't I go and download something from the sandbox that's relatively a uh, small amount of, I need... Let's see. Let's see one that looks. This one looks like it might be a quickie. 22 megabytes. I'm on a uh, not the best connection ever, but you'll see it'll say downloading. I don't have to wait here and watch it download. Um, I can come back to it. You can see a tiny bit already uh, progressed on the left there. So we're not going to watch the whole thing. We'll come back. But so now let me back out here. And so that's that's the whole uh, discover area. Make area is for developers. I haven't uploaded any apps or games because I'm not a developer and don't have apps or games to upload. Um, software, right now we've just got the browser, so you can launch the browser. Honestly, the browser is pretty painful to use. Uh, you can use the touchpad uh, at the top here of the controller. It's probably hard to see because of the light but this will control the mouse and it works much better than the dev console, like 10 billion times better. Uh, you can also connect a Bluetooth keyboard to help you along the way with typing, um, but it's still a little bit clunky and pretty hard to navigate. Granted, you know, this wasn't built to be a web browsing system. First and foremost, they want you to enjoy your gaming experience. So they've done that well. I think eventually they'll move into some of this more media-intensive stuff. Um, but for now, uh, the browser, you're not going to get a whole lot of love out of it. News is it takes you right to the OUYA Dev News. I'm guessing they'll update this. Uh, this was updated March 21st, so clearly this needs new, new news. Uh, right now because we just launched it's pretty important uh, so that is the make section and then we've got the oh by the way if you sideload stuff for you know you connect your computer and drop stuff into the uh, into the system and you go to make you can for example oops get a file manager in here and it will show up in software and then if you dump APKs, you know, into the file system, you can access them through software and then open the file manager and then get at all your games and install them. Um, manage is kind of what you'd expect. Notifications, there aren't any. I'd like to see what happens when there is a first notification. We haven't received any yet. I'm not sure if anything will pop up or anything like that. Um, network just allows you to choose your wireless network. And we are on, at the hotel, so that's what we're connected to now. You can pair controllers. Um, actually, we tried to pair the dev controllers because there were three of us. We were going to play with the one that we got today, the retail version, and then the two dev controllers and have three of us playing. And the dev controllers didn't pair, so that was kind of curious. But you can always buy more controllers and... Uh, and I'm sure that the ones you know built for the retail one will will pair pretty easily. Uh, account is really just your email address and uh, user details. It's just your username and your email that's attached to it. Uh, and then system, we've got console info. So there's all our info for this device specifically. Rerun setup is basically like a factory reset. System updates our consoles up to date. When you do get the brand new uh, retail Ouya, you're going to need to run a system update right away, but it does it automatically and it's super quick. So don't worry about that. And then advanced. And this just brings you into, does this look familiar? I think so. Um, this is your typical Android settings, which uh, reminds you, in case you didn't know, that yes, you are in Android. And I've got the Droid Razor Max here. Uh, and a little bit different because it's Motorola and, you know, it's colored up and stuff. Uh, but you've got all the access to everything you'd have in a typical Android settings area. So you can, and I'm kind of curious what some of this says, like the battery, 
unknown, right? Because it's plugged in to the wall. Um, you can back up and reset. You can do everything that you'd normally be able to do. Um, set up your Bluetooth, set up your Wi-Fi, set up your Ethernet, all that stuff. You can look at about the console, see what's running Android 4.1.2, all that good stuff. Uh, developer options, actually. I'm sure these guys, uh, developers, are, will find that interesting. But nevertheless, most of you guys don't care. You're not going to be deep in the settings. You're going to be deep in the discovering games and playing the game. So it's actually a really nice system. Let's go back and check out um, if that game in the sandbox is downloaded quite yet. And I believe it was Pix and Love Rush that we had. And you can see it's about halfway done. So again, when it is done, it'll appear in our play area and we'll be able to launch it right away. So, for now, why don't we just show you launching a game that we have played. And I'll do one that I know and I'm terrible at, but I'm starting to get addicted to. And that's Stalag Flight. And so, this is just a really fun game. It's a... What? Oops. Oh my gosh. Alright, this is going to be embarrassing. Oh, um, alright, alright, seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself on purpose. Alright, let's 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 retry this again. Here we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, man. I didn't press that button. Okay, so I'm not gonna embarrass myself right now. Um, but you can see that. Hey, so... One quick thing, the A button is back in a lot of places, but it goes back in the app and the devs don't have it exit the game. Fortunately, Stalag Flight does. It's really smooth all around. The whole the whole game was developed pretty beautifully. But if you hold down the um, this Ouya button in the middle for a few seconds and then let go, it'll take you back to the home screen. So that's something that should be important to know. That's a really quick run through the Ouya software it actually runs really nicely does what you needed to do there are some bugs and quirks but hey this is a, a brand new console and we're all early adopters so um, hopefully we can be patient and Ouya will only improve it's pretty awesome already so with improvements it, it'll be pretty exciting to see where Ouya goes thanks to all the developers who you know put these games up there and let's keep it rolling and um, yeah hope to see you guys at ouyaboards.com and GameFans.com. Y'all take care.